Hey my loves, today I'm coming to you with some free marketing tips. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this moving flyer for my Instagram page using only two apps and my iPhone. I love when my cashmere babes send me photos of them, so we're gonna get into showing you how I made it. So the first app that we're gonna be opening is PicArt. Um, this is the homepage of PicArt. I go ahead and scroll down to where it says color background and I'm going to go ahead with the white background. I open up that background and I scroll over to where it says photo since it's already in a square. Um, and then I add this uh, rose gold granite background which I love. I expand that and position it where I feel like it should go and add an, add an angle. And then I'm going to go ahead back to where the plus sign is and open up where it says stickers and in the stickers I type in iPhone and I go ahead and place an iPhone there as you can see I'm showing you again iPhone pick which one I want I wanted the one that had a rose gold on it and I place it where I think it should go So after I went ahead and positioned my phone, I go ahead and type in the word rose gold, since this is a rose gold aesthetic, and I'm gonna scroll through all the rose gold that I see so that I could find a rose gold iPhone back where the camera is so I could place that behind the one that's face forward. Remember, I'm going with a whole rose gold aesthetic. Back in the rose gold sticker tab, I go ahead and scroll down and I find this rose gold and white label, which I need to position. So I had to make the phone smaller so that I can make the label bigger. After which I go ahead and click on the tab that says text and I write what I want to say. A trick that I like to use while choosing fonts is go ahead and scroll through all of them and see which one I like best, preferably the one that's free. So with all the free options that I do have, I went ahead and chose this one. Then I go ahead inside of color and where's the colorful pinwheel at, I created this uh, plum purple color because they don't have it as an option, so I went ahead and created it. After choosing the font that I think matches my aesthetic, I'm going to go ahead and add a stroke on it and color it the same exact color only because I wanted it to be bolder and that font was not as bold. Then I add a um, shadow and then I put it on blur and then I actually like blur it out a little bit more. Back in the stickers tab, I go ahead and type in like. Remember, this is Instagram, it's social media, everything is about likes. So I go ahead and scroll to see the like tab that I liked, which was a light pink, and I add that to the picture. I'm not quite sure where exactly I'm gonna place it, but I know it's gonna be there. So I just put it on there just in case. In the stickers, I type in Instagram because I need an Instagram logo so that I could put my at name so that people will be able to reach me and my clients will be able to reach me as well. So after I position everything, I go ahead and tap on my at name and then I go to the top right hand corner, click the layers tab and duplicate that layer because two reasons. I want to 
make sure that I have the exact same font and the exact same size as my at name so that I could create, I mean, a hashtag name for my cashmere babes. Everything is starting to look good, but I forgot to add one thing. So back in the text, I put and tag us. And I go through the whole motion of picking a color and going through the fonts to choose which one I think best suits this flyer. After finding it, I go ahead and position it. Once I have that position, I go back into the stickers tab and this time I'm gonna go into my collection and go into my saved um, private area so that I can get my logo. So now I'm just going to go ahead and tweak everything and make sure it looks pleasing to the eyes and save it. After I save and I know it's safe, I press the little arrow on the top left hand side and I just go back. After that, I click photos and then I pick which photo I want to add into the iPhone. So I'm going to click this client of mine and stretch her photo out to make sure that it fits the screen of the iPhone. So it looks like it's her photo within the phone. Save it and click the back button and keep doing the same over and over for the rest of the photographs of my beautiful clients until I'm all done. As you can see with this client, her photo is in a square so it was kind of odd to put it in. I went ahead and clicked tools and I just cropped it so that it doesn't distort her body or anything but it will still be in a narrow now that I'm done with all my clients, I go ahead and open Cute Cut Pro. Then I go to Photos and I just add each photo one by one. By adding the photos one by one, it's going to create a video. Because the background is the same, it's only the pictures that are changing. Once I'm done with all my cashmere babes, I go ahead and do a look over and then on the top right hand side, the box with the arrow sticking out, I click that button and then I'm going to go ahead and export that on the highest quality because once you move photographs and videos around, they lose quality. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.